Mi gente, Luis de Buenavé, your H55 guy. Today we're in Long Beach, New York, and we're gonna take the necessary step, step by step, onto how to replace a hot water coil. Hot water coil looks something like this. And this hot water coil is for two different applications. In this application, they're using it for heat. Usually, a coil you can use it for heat or domestic water. But in this application, it's for heat. And I'm gonna show you the step by step what it takes to replace your coil. Stay tuned. Web bye. Alright, me hit it. As I mentioned before, it's a gas steam boiler, guys. So I'm gonna show you what to do in order to change the coil. So guys, remember I told you it's a gas steam. Remember, there's water up to this level right here in this glass cage. I don't know if you guys can take a look right here, but typically it's halfway full of glass. So you have to remove the water from the drain, which is drains right here on the bottom. You remove all the water from the boiler. However, there's also water inside the pipes, meaning inside the coil. So you have to drain water from the coil. So there's two places you have to drain from, from the border itself to remove the water from the border, and then you guys also have to remove the water from the coil. Once you remove the water from the coil and from the border, now it's safe and now you're able to start to cut and disassemble the border. However, first is first, safety, safety, safety. So guys, remember, make sure you always shut off the power before you do anything. I should have mentioned that first early in the video, but it's okay. Remember, safety is first. So shut the power, you also wanna shut the water off. Guys, it's a hot water system, so you have what's called a pressure reducing valve. Follow the pipe back, and there's a, in this case, there's an actual a bowl valve right here in the back. You wanna make sure that valve is in the closed position. So that makes you sure, and you reassure yourself that there's no water going to the boiler, guys. So if there's no water going to the boiler, it's a steam boiler, so you gotta make sure that the lower water cut off, and so it's, the power's off, so the water doesn't does it, um, activate the automatic water feeder. You wanna make sure there's no water in the boiler. All right, once we make sure that the power's off and there's no water in the boiler, now you're able to do the Disassembly. So this assembly is basically cutting the pipe. It's a little hard. I'm show you in the next clip. But basically, what you're going to do is going to cut the pipe. You can use a a, a, a sozo. You can also use a pipe cutter. Whatever you like. In this case, we're going to do a different type of technique. We're going to cut the actual elbow in half. We're going to reuse the actual copper piping. The reason for that is because if I cut the copper piping, I'm actually going to make the copper piping shorter. So what I want to do is, is salvage the actual pipe. So the pipe that I want to salvage is this piece right over here and this piece right over here. So it's easier to see on the next clip, but once you see it, you're gonna understand what I'm talking about, guys. So, or you could do it the old fashioned way, meaning you could cut the pipe and just redo it all over again, however you like. Everybody does things a little different. I like to salvage and recycle what we already have here and try to make it as close as possible to what it was originally. All right, guys, let's take the journey together, step by step. Whip -a. We had to replace four bolts because they snapped on us. Hey, it's part of the job, it happened.
me hit there. Before we get started, I want to demonstrate you guys and show you guys what a domestic water coil looks like. The guys are saying, what is, what's a coil? What does it look like? Well, this is the coil here, right here on the border, and this is what it looks like externally. So it looks something like this. All right, guys, so you're looking at a domestic water coil or for heat, doesn't matter. So basically what it is, is water goes inside here, is the inlet or the outlet, whichever, it doesn't really matter. So let's just say this is the inlet, comes in here and all these bends. And the reason for the bends is because it reduces the flow rate of the water to generate heat or pick up heat, what we call heat transfer. So guys, water comes in, goes through these loops, and what it does is slows down the flow rate, so it picks up on the heat from the water transfer, or the heat transfer from the water inside the boiler, and over here you get hot water. It's pretty straightforward, guys. And of course, we're gonna place a gasket, which is a seal. This is what we call the coil plate, and this actual coil, what you're looking at right now. All right, guys, so, now you know what a hot water coil looks like, now you're gonna know how to replace it. So guys, stay tuned. It's officially wrapped, guys. We just finished wrapping up installing this hot water coil on this warm clean gas steam boiler, an EG40 series model, just to be exact. So, guys, again, I hope it gives you some sort of value because this is what it takes to install a hot water coil. So, most importantly, guys, we would love to hear from you guys. Leave a comment below, smash that bell button. But again, guys, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. We'd love to hear from you. With that being said, call Louis the Boiler Man 516 377 5200 for your boiler and HVAC needs. Whip out.